Hey guys, Spino Dude here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Terra by Batak Pachyrhinosaurus. Now, the Terra Pachyrhinosaurus is one of, if not my favorite Terra by Batak figure, and one of my favorite Dan LaRusso sculpts overall. And it is probably actually my favorite Pachyrhinosaurus figure out on the market. I just love the presence that this figure has. It's a very unique pose. I will say that the pose is not my favorite thing about it. I don't dislike the pose, but I'm not a huge fan of it personally. The overall sculpt and design of the animal Animal is what stands out to me. I love how bulky they made this Pachyrhinosaurus. It really feels like an absolute powerhouse of an herbivore. The coloration on this figure is also very, very unique. And I do have to give them props for giving it such a unique color scheme. I haven't seen a Ceratopsian that's a majority of a cream color with red blotches and markings going across the body. That being said though, I am not a massive fan of the coloration overall, but I do appreciate it for being very unique in comparison to a lot of other Ceratopsian figures on the market. In terms of detailing on this figure, it's nothing absolutely spectacular, but it does have a lot of charm to it. You can definitely tell that it is hand sculpted with care. You can see there are nice wrinkles and folds throughout the skin there, especially like the detailing around the limbs. And I like on this side how this leg is lifting off of the ground, and this one is sort of bracing the massive body of this Ceratopsian, as you can see. The head, though, is definitely my favorite part of this entire sculpt. Really nice detailing. I love the shaping and detailing on the giant boss on the nose there. I also like the horns and the detailing on those across the frill. And the interior of the mouth is very nicely sculpted as well, and there is pink paint on the inside. And the eye, of course, is done in a yellow color. Overall, I really like the head sculpt here, and it is probably my favorite part of this entire figure. This is also a pretty hefty figure for its size. It is fairly heavy, and this figure measures up to about six inches long and about two and a half inches tall. For a quick comparison, I thought I'd bring out my repaint of the Terra by Batat Pachyrhinosaurus that I did a while back. So this one is quite simple in coloration, but it was when I was experimenting with dry brushing and washes, etc. I am still quite happy with it. There's some chipping going on with the paint here, unfortunately, but there you can see them both next to each other, repainted version and the original version. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for my review of the Terra by Batat Pachyrhinosaurus. Let me know what you think of this one. Leave a like if you liked, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye-bye.